Boop, 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 bobbing along. Hi, we're Stuart and Emmy, and we're child-free after infertility. So we decided to change our life plans and moved on to a narrow boat. We're sharing our adventures here, and you're welcome to join us. Ooh. What's going on there? There we go. <laughs> right, well it's raining. It's been raining most of the time we've been here. Um, I think we're going to start making tracks to get off the leak branch. Uh, the tree is now cleared. There's a few boats come and gone, um, which is nice. Uh, it's not the nicest day today, but it's probably not a terrible day to cruise. We're probably just going to do a couple of hours and just get back to the junction because we haven't decided whether or not we're going to try and do the Frog Hill branch. the tree was no sign of tree there it is, is still there? bloody halfway across it i can't see it <laughs> there's that end of the tree it's cherry, isn't it? is it mm -hmm. Stu says it's cherry and there's the rest of it I had hoped to see CRT like whoever I wanted to see how they got rid of the tree because I just wanted to see because I haven't seen a tree being removed from the water and being cut. Like, how do they do it? Do they take the tree out first? Anyway, it's been done. I didn't see it. Too busy drawing. If you know the process for removing trees from water, let us know. Well, that was a lovely little cruise, but quite a challenging one. And cold. Yeah. Uh, so I'm feeling proud again of managing that cruise on the way down. Because yeah. Stu finding it challenging as well is a... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, like... Reinforcing? Not reinforcing, but... Reassuring? Not justifying, yeah, reassuring. Yeah, reassuring that I wasn't... Finding it challenging just because I'm new. No, <laughs> like it's, it's definitely challenging. challenging. Yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, we've got a spot for the night, and we need to make a decision about where we're going tomorrow yeah. because Hare Castle Tunnel is closed. So we were booked to go through in, on Monday, which is in like two days, three days time. Yeah. Uh, so we were going to be heading back to Stoke on Trent and through, ready to go through Hare Castle, but. Uh, because this the rescue boat is broken so they've had to close the tunnel because they can't have it open with no rescue boat uh, and they don't know how long that's going to take but it's probably not going to be monday so possibly do we, do we have time to go down the frog or <laughs> i don't i don't know yeah to be continued <laughs> Boop. well it's another horrible morning on the colden canal it's just far too beautiful and sunny and pretty and breathtaking. <laughs> so today we're going down there, hopefully. We deliberated over this last night um, and I'm sure we shall say something together, but we decided what we were gonna do. We really wanted to do the whole Froggle branch, but we also wanna get on with some work we also, due to a few personal things, have had to change our circumstances a little bit. Um, 
so my folks are coming to visit us next week instead of a little bit later um and which is all good uh but the nice thing is is we shall still be on the Colden Canal we're not going to get to do the whole of the Frog Hill but we are going to um basically go down to Endon, do the services, turn around and go down the Frog Hill a little way and then next week at some point we shall spend a day walking it, which should be nice. services <laughs> so the toilet is not lovely but it's much cleaner than I've ever seen a toilet in a services but the shower block is pretty nice got quite a modern shower you've got a nice high ceiling lots of natural light it's a little bit mouldy around the edges but I tell you what it is it's bloody warm <laughs> <laughs> it's really well heated. Um, and it's also, for reasons I'm not entirely sure of, like a little dressing room with a sink. I guess that's nice. It's rather absurdly probably the nicest services that we've come to. Feels fantastic to have done a full reset. Toilets empty, water done, laundry all done yesterday. And uh, we rescued a sheep, sort of. Stu spotted a sheep that was caught in some brambles um, and mentioned it to a woman who was from CRT sitting in a van. She went over and rescued the sheep from the brambles. Um, and now we're going to turn round and head down the Frogle Branch. Forgot to film it, but we've turned round and now we're heading back the way we came. Here's the junction for the leek branch and the froggle branch. It's so beautiful here. Imagine living there, what a lovely spot to live. Um, yeah, so just about to go onto the Frog Hill branch. I, I'm not sure I'm saying it right, but yeah. Um, we've got a set of locks to go down, and then I think we're just gonna find somewhere to moor a little way down it. Here she comes, Hemi and Annie. These feel lovely and smooth to work. We were probably moored up there last night. It's only taken us four hours to get catch back up with ourselves. And we're about to go under the leak branch. It's running over the top of that bridge aqueduct. what this is please do tell us it's just a sort of cupboard what time is it Stu? Uh, it's quarter, past two. quarter past two let's explore this afternoon yeah That's the River Churnet and like industrial bits of Cheddleton. Here's the canal, beautiful forestness. 
is a nice cruise. Mm. And we get to see a little bit of this frog or branch, which is nice. Well, we probably will also walk it tomorrow. Well, I don't know if we'll walk the whole thing, to be honest. Oh, I've got a lot of drawing to get on with and things. Oh, uh, as much as I'd like to. I'd like to come down and do it properly by boat sometime. Maybe in a summer. I'm quite tempted to year. walk it. Is something coming? Look at the train's little face. I saw it. Did you? Yeah. Look at the eyes in the window. And the nose. A pig! I wasn't expecting this incredible hill and view. They're doing some sort of maintenance work to the train and this was steam venting from the train's boiler. I know you're living your Thomas the Tank Engine dreams. That was such a cool way to end the day. I didn't know that the steam trains did that. If it was it the train? Yeah. Yeah, it's like venting steam, I think. Okay, well, I enjoyed that, and I enjoyed the hill, and I enjoyed the pig, and I really want to try and walk down the whole the whole branch tomorrow. So I'm going to see how much work I can get done tonight and tomorrow morning. I think even if we don't walk down the whole branch, we could still have a really nice walk locally. Yeah, okay. We walked about a third of the way down in the end. That's really close to the danger level. So maybe it's for the best that we haven't come all the way down here. So there's the river Churnet joining the Calden Canal. And then they're friends for the rest of the way down, I think. Or just for a section. Just, for, just until the next one. Till the next lock. So we've just walked down to uh, Lock 16. Yeah, which is where the River Churnet joins the canal. Um, well, we considered coming this far down yesterday, but um, I think we like where we did stop, and we've had a really beautiful walk down this far. It is beautiful, though. It's a shame not to have done it all. Yeah. But, but also, I don't think we could have done it all because that, that warning is practically on red. It would have been a beautiful cruise. It's actually kind of nice to think we wouldn't have been able to come this way anyway since we don't have time, <laughs> you know? Why wouldn't we? Because um, of the flow, yeah, mm. the yeah. water levels. Because uh, we don't have time to do it anyway, and it does. We are a bit like, oh, we don't have time to do this branch, and we really want to. <laughs> All for the best. <laughs> Onwards. Turn it to the right. Thank you so much for watching this video. 
Um, I hope you have a wonderful New Year's. And thank you so much to everyone who has watched and supported us throughout this year. Uh, please do chat with us in the comments below and we will see you next week.